Well, since I'm already PT and flowing, you know, I might need some gadgets to help me out along the way. And as I do the Superman jump, BAM! This guy will try to disarm me, but he will do fail, and so will I. Fail night, first of all, but I still get this guy, and I'm so lucky. 6% health, like really, and I always throw a grenade, usually, just to make sure they don't try to disarm me. And if somehow they do get it disarmed, then I just wasted about 3 smoke grenade launches, and that's no good. Do I think it's the most underused gadget in Battlefield 3? Yeah, most people don't use it. I mean, the only time I ever see people use it is me, so yeah, it's pretty unused. Now in A, it's a bit hard to understand this MCOM because they're expecting for us to come directly in front of them, and really we're not. And I know it's a bit foolish for me to revive him there because he went right back to his death. But I armed this MCOM. And I make sure I get cover. I go back here to make cover because you don't want to die. I'll make sure that we get this M car blown up and our teammates start coming in. The whole squad, the whole team start coming. I throw a grenade, but I get sit down. You know, I get disarmed. But now as they see we get this arm because we've been trying to arm this M car like five times before this arm right here when I armed it. It was inescapable and avoidable for this MCOM to blow up because what most likely made a blow was me using the smoke to its full potential. Oh god, this map, Operation Cluster, god, so cluster map, you cannot, if you don't have a good team, don't even think about playing on this map, because you need a really good team, look at me using the smoke, I'm like using all of it, all in one shot, because these guys, there are choke points everywhere, there's no way you're gonna get through, like, you need, you need a good team, like, especially, you know, the whole map, not just inside the whole metro, you need really good squad mates, or the whole team needs to be good, because you, really, if you're going against 12, versus 12 right and four let's say you're playing on consoles and four of your squad mates are only doing work the 12 are going against four i mean the 12 is gonna win right the same thing on pc right it would be 30 32 versus four so yeah i mean that's no good is it now and once my teammates start spawn i'm gonna go all the way around flanking flanking is the key too i like flanking because i don't like going straight ahead i mean he's just hey what's up you're gonna die now that's pretty much what it seems like when i do that when other people do actually, not me, because I don't really do that. And now I don't know where I got the smoke. I, don't, I think I got had smoke with me. I didn't use all of it. And here I'm gonna go arm it, just to make sure smoke everywhere. Smoke is really it's vital. And here we go. And, then, and now I'm just I run back, run back like um, checking all points, make sure nobody comes, and checking and bam, guy comes. Get him. There you go. They come from every side, everywhere. And now they start coming in. We got one more smoke game before I die. And also, we were only squad that were PTF phoning. So, yeah, we were doing all the way. Look at this guy trying to ramble. Like, what are you doing? Sit down and listen to this victorious joy when we get the MCOM blown up. Yeah! Motherfucking hell! Hell yeah! And now we're going back in time to the first set of MCOMs. This is where you set the tone. You must set the tone right here. Because if you don't, then they'll know that you're very passive and that you don't really attack. You got a PTFO, and this is where really small comes handy. Because you know, they sit right on top of that rock. That rock sits right there. And I'm on the Tencom, right? But then I go back, and I, I, we have like five people over here. And there's something, something just. They spontaneously decide to try to disarm. They did disarm. I'm like, what? How? <laughs> I'm like, we have like five people over there. And then this guy, nobody sees him. And eventually they do. There's a guy sitting right there. Now we get to disarm. And as he armed it, I get another smoke can. So the team, their team can't see what we're doing. Because we're trying to get this first set of MCOM. This is not easy at all. And now, just to make sure they don't try to disarm, I'm going to sit right here on this spot right here. Nobody is going to get this song sitting right here. I'm now I'm not even moving. I'm not even we're barely moving, but I'm standing like I'm standing here like a, I'm a statue. Like I'm in the museum right now and we get some combo now. Yes. 
Now these set of end comps are probably one of the most harder end comps you have to attack. You should really put your trial pants on and immediately as my squad mate arms it. I immediately throw down smoke everywhere, make sure everything is all covered up, making all puffing and stuff, and defending this MCOM. No, this is really one of the most hardest MCOMs you have to attack. You have to do attack it so quickly with speed, like your Blitzkrieg, whatever. This is not easy at all. And then this guy starts running, like, we're defending right here, bro. Like, sit down. Like, you just got dunked on. And this other guy tried to come in, but we get blown up, and we're not done yet. Even though I'm on the opposite side, getting to the other side, I was thinking. If I run on the other side, will I make it or will I just fall down? But man, you know, you gotta take risk, right? So I almost died here. I mean, I'm so, I get lucky. And you remember how you get 0% health? They really need to fix that. And they, I get the MCOM arm and I revive my teammate. I thought I was gonna die. I thought someone was gonna hit me. But nobody did. And I got some smoke left. So I'm gonna defend. Even though I'm 10 miles away, I throw my smoke down all the way to B just to make sure we can get this. And. Now I'm gonna run across because you know I was like, oh my god, am I gonna make it? And yes, I made it. Oh yeah, we got one more NCOM left, guys. Let's do this. Woo! Now these last set of NCOMs are pretty easier to attack because you have more flanking rounds and it's harder for the defending. Oh man, he just got took down. He got dunked on. And yes, it's a lot easier now. So the smoke can it might come in handy because it's more open now. You might need a smoke so you can come unseen. But you, you don't have to use it unless you really have a good team. And I go straight for the MCOM. I don't know why this team was not watching this side at all. And I arm it, right? I get it armed. And this is the thing. I made a mistake. I ran back here. I thought I can just go back here, but I never made it. But suddenly, spontaneously, instinctively, I don't know how. I just got randomly revived. I just missed of air. I just popped back here. Like, whoa. I didn't know you cannot do that Battlefield 3. Please teach me, master. Um, <coughs> editing. <coughs> Editing, yeah, but we defend this NCOM like with our lives. Like this is, this is like what we believe in. We have to defend this NCOM. That's like what we're doing. We're like staying on it. Explosions everywhere, and then random this engineer guy pops out. Like, whoa, buddy, no, sorry, it's our NCOM, dude. You gotta, you gotta go back wherever you came from. You know, back to that respawn screen. But wait, does fail block accept gameplay clips? Because this clip is one of a kind. I, I threw a grenade on the wall, and the wall decided to just bounce back and just taught me the lesson of the day.